Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a creative sim. Today we are creating the singles household, which technically is a recreation of the singles household from The Sims 2. They can be found in the family bin and they kind of go with Strange Town because two of the sisters are aliens. So yeah, before I kind of explain who they are, let me just kind of give you the rundown on the difference between them in The Sims 2 and in The Sims 4. So in The Sims 4, we know that we can have aliens, but they can disguise themselves as humans, which is very cool because I feel like aliens would do that, okay? They don't want to draw a lot of attention to themselves because they're green and they're blue and they have weird voices. So, you know, they disguise themselves as aliens, which is super awesome because I don't like to walk around playing with, you know, weird sounding, gurgly voiced sims. <laughs> so, we are creating two sisters who are aliens and their names are Chloe Curious and Lola Curious. So as far as like me creating them, I create them in their human form as far as like their outfits and everything, just making them super stylish and whatnot. And then I go back and I kind of show you their version of them as aliens, but I don't furnish, or not furnish, oh my gosh, dress their alien versions of themselves. I kind of do that off camera. So they are wearing the pretty much the exact same outfits they are just green. <laughs> so anyways, just giving you guys a little bit of an update on that because I know in The Sims 2, there's no disguising yourself. They're just green. So anyways, right now we are creating Chloe Curious. Supposedly the twins, or well, they're supposed to be twins, but I don't know. There was like a little bit of a debate that I had seen <laughs> on sims fandom when i was researching this family and whatnot some people think that it's kind of impossible for them to be twins because technically one's um older or something like that i don't remember but they think that they had the elixir of life or something anyways okay about, about the sisters because they're kind of confusing i learned some things about them that i did not know back when i played the sims 2 so this right here is lola curious the other alien sister Alright, so if you guys are familiar with The Sims 2, okay, you know that these two girls right here, these two sisters, are PT9 Pollination Technician number 9, his daughter. So he is an alien, he's married to a human, they have a hybrid human alien son and then a daughter who is all human. But anyways, these are his daughters. The game recognizes these two as his daughters, but their last name is Curious. And... In The Sims 2, they have the last name singles because they're part of the household. You can't have separate last names and then name the household like you can in The Sims 4. So I had really no idea their last name was Curious. I never really played with them much, honestly, because they're in the family bin. But anyways, here's the scoop on their last name Curious because there are some other families, or another family, the Curious Brothers, in Strange Town. So here's the scoop. PT9 abducted Glorn, I think is his name. I think that's his name. That is the Curious Brothers' dad. So, you know, in The Sims 2, they always get pregnant by aliens. So, PT9 abducted him and he had twins, which were Lola and Chloe. So, they are related to the Curious Brothers. That is kind of like their half-brothers. They were raised by, you know, a human dad, but their alien dad is PT9. So, yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. So, just a fun fact if you guys didn't know that. But, anyways, I didn't really tell you anything about Chloe or Lola, but they're super cute. I mean, they're cute in their alien form, but they're really cute in their human form, too. But as far as, like, their personalities, it's really hard to give them a personality in this, from this based off The Sims 2 because we don't have traits or anything like that. But I just imagined that Chloe would be, like, smart, kind of into computers, programming, stuff like that. And then Lola, or she had, like, a very, okay... Chloe had a very relaxed style, which was really cute. I loved that. And then I imagine that Lola, she is more of a hopeless romantic. She's very girly, very vintagey, and I just think she is precious. And here we are creating their third roommate, which is Erin Beaker. 
So Erin is actually a sister of another family from The Sims 2, and that is the Beaker family. Uh, Loki Beaker, this is his little sister. So, yeah, he's a little bit of a psycho, but I, did, I just hit a, a wacko mad scientist. I don't imagine her being like that. Um, obviously, in The Sims 2, the family been Sims, they don't have, like, careers or anything like that. So, I, you just kind of make up what you think that they would like. But as far as she goes, I just, I don't know. I made her very stylish. Like, her outfits are so cute. I don't know, I just think she's a very beautiful sim, so I can see her being, I don't know, I, it's a, it doesn't even make sense, but I can see her being like in the medical field just because her brother is so like smart, he's a scientist, I imagine that, you know, it would kind of run in the family for her to be smart or something, not not that, you know, you gotta be like super smart to be a nurse or anything, but you do have to have dedication and stuff like that, um, I don't know I just I can kind of see her in that track like medicine track but also I can kind of see her getting into fashion like a style influencer or something like that I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> let me know you what vibes you get from Aaron Baker because it's kind of like I said a toss-up on what you think that they would do but nonetheless I think her outfits are so cute so stylish and y'all I have too much custom content like <laughs> but I can't stop can't stop won't stop <laughs> there's just so much good stuff but anyways it's always fun to you know do these creative sims and use some of these outfits like this right here boobs girl like scandalous but it's still so cute it's not too revealing but yeah her fashion sense you know she can be a fashionable nurse or fashionable doctor or she can be into you know like I said style influencing and all of that but let me know what you think about her because I was a little bit confused <laughs> on Erin and what I could kind of like see her doing in sim time sim life but anyways here is the last roommate and her name is Kristen Lost and she had more of a biography that or background that allowed me to kind of get inside on her personality so apparently she wants to be a superstar athlete and she mentioned in her biography or something like that <laughs> that you know strange town she's just passing by she's not here for a long time she's here for a good time <laughs> it's just one of the many stops on her you know track to professionalism so I definitely imagine her being very sporty so I kind of tried to mimic that in her hairstyles and her style and her outfits and everything and I did give her the athletic and ambitious trait I imagine she'd be and I'm pretty outgoing too since, you know, she wants to, you know, pursue this career or whatnot. I imagine that she'd be pretty sociable meeting all the people and the teammates and hanging out with them in her life. But, yes, yeah, she is very sporty. I use that jacket and those Converse, which matched so well, shall I say. But, anyways, I think Kristen is very pretty. She's dark complected and... I don't know what ethnicity she would be. She may just be tan, but I don't know. She kind of looks like she has some kind of ethnicity. If you guys think so or you know anything that I don't know about these sims, <laughs> please make me knowledgeable in the comments down below because some of you guys are Sims 2 experts and I swear I love it. I really do. <laughs> Y'all helped me so much when it came to my Sims 2 let's plays and all of that so i really appreciate it but anyways this video is wrapping up so i hope you guys enjoyed this create a sim recreation of the singles household if you have any suggestions on any other families you want me to recreate or any type of create a sim series let me know in the comments down below i really need some help <laughs> but they are available for download on the gallery they do include a ton of cc so make sure you follow my cc tumblr page if you have any questions on a specific item let me know i can try to point you in the right direction or give you a link to what it is you're looking for but anyways Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time 
clear to see